we have breaking news from Sri Lanka after a series of deadly terror attacks on Easter Sunday. There was a new explosion in the capital, Colombo, just a short time ago. This latest blast followed a string of suicide bombings targeting Christians celebrating Easter. The Sri Lankan government says they were carried out by a local group of Muslim radicals. The bombing killed at least 290 people and wounded hundreds more. U.S. officials say several Americans are among the dead. Sri Lanka's health minister says warnings from intelligence agencies were not followed. The terrorists targeted three churches and three luxury hotels in nearly simultaneous attacks on Easter Sunday morning. Elizabeth Palmer is in Colombo, the capital, near one of the bombers' targets yesterday. Elizabeth, good morning to you on this terrible day in Sri Lanka. Indeed, I'm standing right in front of the first church to be bombed yesterday, San Sebastian. And as I was walking down here about half an hour ago to talk to you, that other bomb went off just around the corner. Um, it, we don't know about casualties yet, but witnesses say that uh, police had spotted a suspicious van, and when the bomb squad turned up to try and defuse what turned out to be a bomb inside, it went off. Just a short time ago, uh, the Sri Lankan government, as you said, uh, has accused uh, this local homegrown Islamist extremist group, uh, Tawhid Jamaat, of carrying out yesterday's bombings. And specifically, they said that the group sent seven suicide bombers to do the deed, all of them Sri Lankan. The church clock of St. Anthony here in Colombo, the minute it was hit. Now, forensic teams are combing through the debris, looking for evidence. Yesterday, Sri Lankan special forces carried out raids in the capital, and three officers died. But by this morning, the government announced 24 men were under arrest. Yesterday's attack was coordinated and of unprecedented cruelty. It left landmark churches in ruins and killed or maimed scores of Roman Catholics. What should have been one of the most joyous days in the Christian calendar has left overwhelming grief. <laughs> At the three hotels that were bombed, Sri Lankans and tourists alike died as they gathered for Easter brunch. Colombo's mayor, Rosie Sananayake. This is a very sad moment. This is a very cowardly uh, attack. Uh, and it's, uh, it's not just a, an attack, it's a very uh, gross, gruesome attack on humanity. A civil war between Buddhist and Hindu Sri Lankans raged here for 30 years, and suicide bombs were a common weapon. But that war ended in 2009, and Sri Lankans believed the worst of the violence was over. They were wrong. In Colombo, police are everywhere today. Normally crowded streets are quiet, and schools remain closed in a country both stunned and fearful. They are afraid, but they are also angry. As I came through the streets here, uh, after that most recent bomb went off, people poured out of their houses suddenly, and they mobbed soldiers who were trying to get through on motorcycles. There's no question uh, the situation here is very tense with the history of violence uh, in this country. The government is very nervous that uh, things could explode. Nora? Well, it looks that way this morning. Elizabeth Palmer in Sri Lanka. Thank you.